On the 27th of February, 2023, a YouTuber by the name of Think Before You Sleep started a live stream. Little did he know that one simple live stream would cause the Greenskins to lay siege to his channel. The war began a few days prior, on February 24th, with a live stream dating in 2023. He made some wild claims that Undead Chronic and Hammerhand critiqued in the stream UCW show 192. Think Before You Sleep tried to clap back with his stream, The Problem With Manosphere Creators. Originally, the stream was titled The Problem With MGTOW Creators, however, he changed the name of the stream shortly thereafter. Over the course of the stream, he refused to read any mean donations that were sent his way. Again, thank you for, for all the people who are um, sending me money to insult me. Thank you for all the free money. Just roll right past that super chat. He got butt hurt at the mean green skin roasting and making fun of his appearance. He was unable to comprehend that Undead Chronic is not a good person. He roasts everyone in any way, including appearance. The worst thing he could have done is respond. And he did. June 5th, 58, 20, uh, 50, uh, 58,294. Not even 100,000 subscribers before that happened. So most of my subscribers were gained after I, I, I transitioned out of it. He shows that at the time when he dropped the MGTOW label, he only had approximately 58,000 subscribers. This shows that he used the term to gain a substantial following, then he dropped it when it might have started hindering his channel's growth, because we know how YouTube treats people who use that label. He pulls up the discussion Undead Chronic had with Destiny, and was unable to comprehend the argument UC was making about women in taxes. Post all accident sources, as a group, men pay taxes. Okay. As a group, women use taxes. I'm sure that men probably contribute more taxes because men probably earn most of the money, but that's probably a good thing. This is true, but <laughs> as a group... So where's the argument? Yeah, there, there's a couple more in here. Men as a group pay taxes, so it's not like... Okay, so, so thanks for bringing the group responsibility in here. That's very, very woke of you to do that. Think Before You Sleep complains that Undead Chronic would pause the video and not listen to the argument he was making. However, he does the same thing during this segment as if this isn't something every streamer does. That he would unpause it and later it's an opinion that he agrees with and he would still shit on me for agreeing with the opinion, for, for saying an opinion that he agrees with. Here's them doing that. The problem with the group responsibility response is that men don't get a say on where their taxes go. They just go. Men as a majority get taxed more than women and said taxes go to fund programs that subsidize women's poor choices like welfare and government funded housing. If men really had the group responsibility mindset, we'd stop paying taxes and let the country fall apart. And it makes sense that women would be a tax drain compared to men when they're probably more likely to earn less and they're more likely to stay at home taking care of children. The problem is when they're staying at home mm -hmm. taking care of bastards and they're on welfare systems taking men's money. Think Before You Sleep tries to bring up Undead Chronic's relationships with women, failing to understand that there is a difference between long-term dating and having a woman around to sleep with. I've dated a lot of women. 80% of the women I've dated, they thought we were boyfriend and girlfriend. I didn't see it that way. I don't think I'm That's top 10%, but I have more. I have over 50. Okay. So, again, it, it, by the way, he would call Brittany a whore if she said she had that, much, that many partners. She has had, <laughs> he has multiple times as many sexual partners than she does, yet she's the whore. Yeah, well, you should be shamed for being a whore. So yeah, literally has vastly more sexual partners than the person he's calling a whore and yet doesn't see the irony here. So think before you sleep does not understand that women are the gatekeepers to having sex. If a woman says no, then that is great. However, men are the gatekeepers to relationships and marriage. If a man says he won't marry a woman, that's it. She's not getting a ring. A lot of the women that have opened up for Undead Chronic did so assuming that they'd be in a long-term relationship because they did not say he had to put a ring on it before getting the puniti. A man being able to get with a lot of women shows that he has qualities those women want. Those qualities typically being money, muscles, masculinity. Women can get sex any time they want, but the vast majority of men cannot. There is the statistic that one in three men have not had any sexual activity in the past year. If men could get sex, they would, but women say no to these men. A man can't necessarily be a whore because the vast majority of the time he's earned the ability to sleep with women because he's become attractive to women, whereas women can just swipe on a dating app and get a man that night. You could say that's a terrible double standard, 
but life is filled with these double standards. But it's only a problem when it negatively affects women. Like Think Before He Sleeps girlfriend, Brittany Venti. He's revealed that he's been dating Brittany Venti for a few months, and she's gone on record saying that she will abstain from sex before getting married. I know this is going to be a little bit unusual in the current year, but today I wanted to talk about abstaining from sex, why I choose to do it, as well as why I think more people should do it as well, but especially women. Um, for me, I used to partake in serial monogamy. Serial monogamy is when you go from long-term relationship to long-term relationship. I have personally never partaken in casual sex. All of my relationships have been at least a year and a half. One of them was three years and a half, and I've been partaking in serial monogamy since I was 15. That is perfectly fine, but let's keep in mind that she's not a virgin. She said that she's been a serial monogamous woman since the age of 15, so it's safe to assume that she's had sex with at least a few of her boyfriends without needing the ring. So now think before you sleep will be unable to nut before he puts a ring on her hand. She's either lying about saving herself for marriage to sleep with Think Before You Sleep, or she is going to make him pay full price for a used puniti. He's claimed that he's MGTOW in the past, so he must understand the divorce statistics showing the amount of partners a woman has increases the likelihood of divorce. Think Before You Sleep eventually pulls up a stream that both Undead Chronic and Britney were on, and asked why Undead Chronic didn't roast her and call her a whore straight to her face. By the way, this is says he, he sent a hate mob to her. Let me go back to that so you can hear it. And doesn't, again, could have perfect time to, to mention all these horrible things he said about her just three days ago. It's obvious because he's on someone else's stream, and to bring that stuff up would be rude to the host. Think Before You Sleep got upset when Chronic was commenting on the size of Britney's tatas, hoping that UC would be simping over her, when in reality, if he did his own research, he'd understand that Chronic was just joking and being hyperbolic. I created an OnlyFans and I posted Ooh. pictures of my cats on it and I framed oh, it as selling pictures of my pussy. Come on, Brittany, come no. on. Oh, Undead Chronic mad that she didn't show her boobs on OnlyFans. I think we're, maybe we got some Orbiter's Remorse or something like that going there. Maybe he likes her and that's why he's, he's commenting negatively. Simps for her yet again. <laughs> I love Brittany's tatas. Bye. Oh my god. Thank you, bye. Out. Bye. bye. Get out of here. So, again, simping really hard. One of the most egregious atrocities he committed during the stream was that a viewer sent him a super chat, asking for fitness advice. He read the chat, but was unable to give any solid advice. The man paid him money, and the most he could say was this. I uh, recently got back in the gym, but can't come out with a workout plan for building muscle. Any tips? Uh, I mean, I, I have a degree in exercise science, but I'm not... You can see from my appearance, I'm basically a beginner lifter. I don't feel qualified to give people advice on, on specific workout plan stuff. If you want to learn that stuff, you, there's plenty of YouTube channels that, that go over that. Jeff Nippert is a really good channel that goes over the science of that. Just keep doing research and, and figure it out. How does he claim to have a fitness degree, but can't give simple advice like be in a caloric surplus, try to do more reps rather than just go for larger numbers, increase your protein intake, etc.? He's been in the fitness industry for years as a yoga instructor, but can't give any advice when he's paid to do it. The downfall of Think Before You Sleep goes to show that you're always one BJ away from the plantation. Letting your guard down around one eager is all it takes. It's a stark reminder that anyone can change their opinions, but some will go about it in a grifting manner. He's deleted almost half of his videos about him being MGTOW because he got big. He used that part of the manosphere until it wasn't profitable. He got his money and his unicorn girlfriend and burned many bridges along the way. <laughs>